As 36-year-old Angela Turvey steps out of court, her injuries are apparent. She says she has a fractured eye socket, a broken nose, and nine stitches above her eye. Wounds she says she sustained when police arrested her Friday night. I am feeling very sore in the face. My, my left arm is a little numb. My right arm is really numb. And that's as a result of being taken to the ground. Turvey, along with three other Occupy protesters, were arrested outside the university courthouse. Police were attempting to remove them from the site because of a trespassing complaint. Police again asked them to, to move along, and that didn't uh, go their way. They became more disruptive, and uh, then when police started to arrest that individual, others took exception and started to intervene, and those uh, members were uh, arrested for assault police. All the protesters were taken to hospital. Last night, an impromptu protest erupted outside of 52 Division with demonstrators demanding their release from custody. Today, the protests continued, the crowd much larger, as demonstrators melded together with another protest about robocalls happening at the same time. People here, uh, here today to demand new elections and demand a public inquiry. At this time, Turvey and one other protester have been released on bail. One of Turvey's conditions, she must reside with her parents in Port Colborne. It's relieved to, to know that we're going to be able to have her back in our area again. Although Angela never expected her first protest to end like this, she won't let it stop her from demonstrating in the future. I hope they are still occupying, but Occupy Toronto will never die. We, were, we will be here forever.